2017, although I will wear it's 2018, but you know how it is. I actually have a lot, so this is going to be quite a long video, so it might be a good idea to you know, grab yourself a cuppa. You might need it for this one, or something to eat. There are a lot of project items, some de-stash, that sort of thing. At the end, I will give you a total for approximately how much I used up, de-stashed, etc. for 2017, and it is pretty impressive, if I do say so myself. Uh, taking into account that samples tend to get priced at approximately $3.59 each, or $3 each, depends on when I got them, um, because that is what they are if I take the number of items I get in a subscription box and divide it into the price of the subscription box. Some things are less than that. If I can't find a price, like a replacement price for them, then I kind of like guesstimate on something that is similar because you know, I have some older products and that kind of thing. i um, going to attempt to be a little bit more careful from now on and actually write down how much I actually pay for things. So if I do happen to use them, the values are a little bit better. Anyway, let's just get into it because we have a lot to do. We have Urban Skincare Co. Repair Plus Body Balm. It was fine. The Suntivity 30 Plus Face Moisturizer. This is terrible. Do not recommend. The Organic Care Nourishing Body Wash in Fig and Papaya. This was quite nice. Uh, another body wash. We have the Original Source Daily Scrub. I really liked this one. It's in Blood Orange. I like citrusy type scents. But this one made a huge mess in the shower. Lon Vitalite C1 Face Mask. It was fine. The Lacura Cherish Hand Cream, loved the smell of this one, would totally repurchase. I actually have a couple of other Lacura ones in my back stock. The High Lift Cureplex, um, this is like the cheaper version of Olaplex. This little container here, 100ml, lasted quite a long time. It's actually really, really good. W7 photo shoot foundation. Uh, this is a de-stash. I didn't really like this one. Nivea Daily Essentials Face Cream. Quite like this. Often by Nivea. Swash Cough Oil Nutriv Anti-Split Ends Mask. I used the whole of this up this year. Huge tub. Um, I'm, I think it was good. It smells really nice, if nothing else. The Ombra 30 Plus Face Moisturizer. Um, I quite liked this one. It's a good price. I'd probably buy it again. I've actually bought the tinted one, but I haven't used it yet. Uh, the Sebamed Anti-Dry Wash. It was just a wash. Uh, chapstick double ended day night one. Quite liked this. Palmer's Cocoa Butter Moisturizing Day Cream. It was fine, although it has um, shea in it, and shea butter is not my favourite smell. I have two Physio Gel Hypoallergenic um, Body Creams. One is for dry sensitive skin, and one is for very dry sensitive skin. They were both fine. Uh, oil of aloe uh, face cream, day face cream. It was fine. So it doesn't have an SPF in it, so I probably wouldn't buy this one again because it doesn't have SPF. 
Clinique Turnaround Concentrate. Um, this is about half used, but I've had it for ages and it was starting to go a little weird. Um, I'm not sure if it does anything. Clarice Sea Salt Solutions Rapid Detox Charcoal Exfoliant. This is like a powder one that you put into like um, a little bit of water or your own cleanser or whatever. I actually quite enjoyed using this. I do prefer prefer a manual exfoliant. I just just do. Swiss Rosehip Facial Moisturizer. It, again, it was just fine. Chlorine Shampoo and Conditioner with Quinine. This stuff strips colour from my hair and dried my hair out. It was terrible. Do not recommend. Innis Free uh, Green Tea Seed Serum. It was fine. Um, Harvey Prince Sincerely Perfume. I actually finished two perfumes this year, which is amazing for me. Or three, actually. Uh, considering I don't really wear perfume. <laughs> the Bliss Lemon Sage Body Butter. This was actually quite nice. I would consider buying this one. Not a huge fan of sage, but it was quite nice. Um, I have a pack of round makeup ones. I believe I got these from Woolworths. They're the health beauty ones. Not sure. It might have been um, Canvas Warehouse. And the Lacura Square Petty Spa ones. They are both fine. Neon and Co. hair oil. This was more like water than oil. I um, don't really think it did anything. Derma E purifying 2 in 1 charcoal mask. It was fine. Just really, really messy. Biology Equilibrium Body Lotion number 304. Again, it was fine. It was just a body oil, nothing special. Innisfree Orchid uh, Enriched Cream. This was quite nice, actually. I quite enjoyed that one. Blush and Kosher Aroma Magic Coffee Bean Scrub. I liked this, but not as much as I liked the other cleanser that I got from her in a beauty box. Uh, Nurture Oil from NSI. This was part of my kit when I first started doing my beauty course. And it is fine. The Eco Lips Eco Tint in Rose Quartz. This is quite minty. At first I didn't really like it, but it grew on me and I really, really loved it. In the end, I would buy that one again. This is a D-Stash. This is the Monomolo Long-Lasting Lip Colour in Sexy Red. This is one of those ones that you put on, let it dry, peel it off, get a stain. Not a fan. The L'Oreal Base Magic. I quite liked this one. I preferred it over the Professional. Um, I have a couple of samples from Bay Many, which I didn't end up using because I really wasn't sure what that was supposed to do or anything and had so much trouble finding anything about them, so I was just like, nope. The Amy Deep Pore Exfoliating uh, Polish. I actually really enjoyed this. I like the smell of this and I found out I can get it from Priceline for a pretty good price. So I probably would buy that one again. The SE cuticle oil, apricot cuticle oil, as you can see there's heaps in here. This is freaking terrible. This dried out my nail, my cuticle so bad. <laughs> Not going to waste my time with that. Okay, I have... Let's say samples, I mean samples. Lots and lots of samples. Go through these foil samples pretty rapidly. Revlon Photo Finish, uh, Photo Ready Primer is fine. Um, Avon, a new Ultimate Elixir, again, fine. The Palm Olive Oil Infusions Body Moisturizer with Citrus and Jojoba Oil. I would buy this one. I really liked this one, especially the smell. 
I don't think most moisturizers do anything different to anything else. It's just how they smell. The Macadamia Luxurious Oil Treatment. I actually really liked this one. The Avon Nutri FX Night Cream. It was fine. L'Oreal LV Hair Mask. Again, it was fine. I don't think it did anything particularly. Um, it was like the um, big container thing, except it was oily rather than creamy like the other one. Nutramedics Nutri Rich Balm. Again, it was fine. Um, Palmer's Cocoa Butter Cream. I probably wouldn't buy that one because it smells like shea butter and I don't like shea butter. The Natural Look Immaculate Bio Biore New Night Care Face Cream. It was fine. Kerastase Nectar Thermique. I don't really heat treat my hair, so um, it was just like a normal treatment in my hair, I guess. Jamboree Wraps. I hate these things. Uh, I have here. Let's see if I can find the other one. Oh, I'll go with this one first. The facial cleansing oil from Palmer's. It was fine. I'm not really into the facial cleansing oils. Um, another Palmer's body thing. Again, fine except for the shea thing. Uh, Time Miracle Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream from Madara. It was fine. Uh, Naturalis Intense Skin Therapy Pawpaw Aloe Vera Vitamin E. Didn't really have very much in it, so it was really hard to tell if it was any good. Uh, I have a couple of Oligodermi samples. They were both fine, nothing to write home about, really. Not my favourite of the things I've tried this year. Last year. Um, these three Sukin samples, which I never got to try out because they'd all dried up in the completely sealed packaging. Not really sure how that works. Um, Slaw peeling mask stuff. Mm. Um, and another Avon Anu. This is the retroactive day cream with sunscreen. Again, it's only like one, two uses, so it's hard to tell. And then I have this pile of Domaine Cappuccini samples. Um, there's eye cream, there's face cream, um, there's ones for really dry skin. Domaine Cappuccini is absolutely fantastic. Totally recommend it if you can get hold of it. It is a little bit on the pricey side. It's like, you know, $50 for 50 ml. But it is so good, especially if you've got any dry skin. It's like instantaneously better. So, yeah, um, I really do recommend these. And I loved all of these samples. I ended up trying to, like, spread them out a bit once I realized I loved them. Then I have a whole pile of Natura samples. Um, I got Lacura's advent calendar thing last Christmas um, and I haven't quite used everything out of it yet. There's a lot in there uh, but I have used quite a bit so there's all these little samples. There's Twin Phase Vita Serum, Oxy Serum, Refine Serum and Power Serum there. And then QV Royal Face Mousse and Luminous Serum Concentrate. They're all fine. Um, at least I guess I've been using oils on my face a bit more than I did before. Uh, and I have a Palmer's Cocoa Butter Perfecting Facial Oil. Again, it was fine. I'm just not really into using oils on my face. And the Harvey Prince Damask Rose Perfume. I actually quite liked that one. Uh, everything else is makeup. Oh, I'll get this one. Well, it's sort of makeup. Everything else is pretty much makeup and nail polish. Um, the Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit Lip Balm. I love this stuff. Love the smell of it. My partner loves the smell of it. 
and it's very moisturizing. I actually quite enjoy it. I bought another one and it's currently beside my bed, um, gets used at night. <laughs> so on to the makeup -y things. We have a pile of mascaras. And when I say a pile of mascaras, I mean a pile of mascaras. I have three LA Colors Color Blast, uh, sorry, Bold Color Lash Mascara. These actually all dried out. We had Vivid Violet, Popping Pink, and Silver Chrome. We had Revlon Bold Lacquer, started transferring, can't stand that. CoverGirl Exact Lights in Black Sapphire. It's grey, it's stupid, and it doesn't really do anything for your lashes. The So Susan Flutter Mascara, this again is a transfer, and it never dried properly. It literally stayed wet all day. The Maybelline Colossal Volume, quite liked this until it started transferring. The Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme, I like this mascara. It's nice. Not as much as I like the Lancome Hip Nose, but you know, they're both pretty expensive. And a CoverGirl Clump Crusher in Black Brown. I have two more Clump Crushers, uh, one that I've just started. <laughs> I like Clump Crusher. Uh, I have a NYX Control Freak Brow Gel, which just got really manky and I couldn't stand it anymore. For eyes, I have the BYS Pearlized Eyeliner. This dried out. The Eye Teeny Swizzle Stick in Midnight Cowgirl. This I'd used most of it, and then it like broke off and disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. The Maybelline Eye Express Cream Shadow Stick in Touch of Toffee. This is the last one of these that I had. It basically has gone too dry to actually be able to use. The Alme Liquid Eyeliner Pen in Black Brown. This thing hung on the whole year. It probably still got some in it. Uh, and the Scand Rimmel Scandalize Thick Thin Eyeliner. I hated this. Used it like three times and was just like, no, nah, I'm done. Even though it was brand new, it never worked properly. Like from day one, it did not work properly. I have a colour tattoo. This is too cool. This basically just got too hard to work with. Which, you know, it happens. Um, uh. And we have a lip gloss from Astralis. This dried my lips out. It's supposed to be moisturising. The Rimmel Vinyl Max One Stroke Maxi Shine Lip Gloss. Do not like these. I threw out the other two that I have already this year. They would have been in earlier empties. Uh, three lip liners. We have the Jordana Wild Orchid, which broke off and vanished. Again, I do not know where it went. We have one from Kmart, which was basically just a natural coloured one. And one from Satin in Rosewood. I have another one of these in my collection. Actually, it's four lip liners because I forgot this one. Uh, the NYX Auto Lip Pencil in Y2K, which I was going to put in a project for this year. Um, and it has, like, dried out and just keeps on breaking. Um, it's a really dark purple lip liner. And we have the Maybelline... Uh, this is one of the Wet Shine Fusions, which I don't even make anymore. Um, it's basically got too dry. And the W7 Little Mini Lipstick in Bright Bright Pink, which I just decided to de-stash because I have enough lipsticks. Everything else is nail polish. So we have Moss from Revlon, which got made into a Franklin polish. We have All the Angel Rain. I love this polish. Um, Black Swan from L'Oreal. We have a mini of Lily White from Ulta 3. Pink Waterfall from Orly, another one which I absolutely love. Also from Orly we have Lemonade, which is another one I really, really, really like. Uh, we have Fantasy Fire from Max Factor, which was made into a Franken polish with this one. It's an interesting uh, Beyond Cozy by Essie, which 
this I actually ended up really, really lacking in the end. Um, I have three indie ones. These are just like the little mini ones from Mia Now Lacquer, which doesn't exist anymore. We have Royal Velvet, Wind Clouds, Dream, and Wild Lavender. I have this L'Oreal nail polish from years and years ago. I think it's 203 from the LA Collection Crystals. I really liked this one. We have this little neon pink one from W7, which came in the same sample pack that the mini lipstick came in. And then we have two Maybelline mini coloramas in icing sugar and dark chocolate. And that is all of it. So, that was the end of my empties for 2017. Of the products that I wrote down in my TARDIS notebook, um, I'm sure there were things that I forgot, um, as, as happens, um, but of the products that I wrote down, there were 237 of them that were either used up, destashed, whatever, or had like gone off or bad or whatever. And the uh, grand total, like this last month's total, was actually $526 because of all the project stuff that was in it, giving me a year end total of $1,224.97, so close enough to $1,225 worth of stuff that was used up in 2017, which I am really, really happy about. I thought I wasn't going to get anywhere near my total for 2016, and I actually beat it by quite a bit. Uh, my year-end total uh, last in 2016 was $942. So yeah, I beat it by quite a bit. Used a lot more stuff, a lot more samples and stuff this year. So I am super duper happy about that. Uh, in 2018, I will be attempting to do monthly empties um, and keeping better track of what I actually buy and the prices of things if I buy new stuff. I'm actually trying not to buy anything, so I have a lot of stuff to use up. Um, yeah, so that is my final empties for 2017. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like empty style videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!